Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cubius Engineering. We're going to take one of my old sets of hair clippers and we're going to replace the nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries that are in here with an 18650. And that hopefully will give these clippers a whole new lease of life. Without further ado, let's get into this. So what have we got then? Ultimately, what they've got inside of them, if you pop one screw out here, there's a little tiny bit of electronics and uh, there's a couple of diodes and a few resistors and a light emitting diode. I've got a set of batteries in here as well. And these look like nickel metal hydride. They've actually, to be fair, these clippers have lasted quite a long time. How do they operate? There is a little spinning motor here, like the kind of motor that you might have on an electric drill. And that has a little tiny offset spindle. And when that offset spindle rotates, it moves one set of clippers left and right. And in fact, if you look at these, perhaps you can see they're actually white. So there's some ceramic forever sharp clipper heads here. One set which move left and right. And then we've got a fixed set on the top. And I do apologize. It's, um, <laughs> it's got hair all over it. So I might need to give these a bit of a clean up <laughs> just to make this video a little bit prettier. But ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to unsolder this guy here. We're going to fit one of these in place. We need to cut out a little bit of plastic. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of battery management on this as well. And then hopefully we'll end up with a pair of clippers that have a little bit more life in them. First thing we're going to want to do is get rid of these old batteries. As you can tell, yeah, they just don't have much in the way of beans anymore. A little bit of solder. This is a T100, by the way, soldering iron, little digital soldering iron. It's magnificent. I'm in love with it. Right, um, so next part of the mission is to apply a little solder to this lithium ion cell. Now, a lot of people don't like doing this. A lot of people much prefer electrical welding but I've done this so many times and I've never, <laughs> touch wood, never had a problem. Uh, next thing to do is to connect up this here. This is a little battery management PCB. And what that does is it just takes care of, of the lithium ion cell. And it's quite easy to overcharge a lithium ion cell. A little tiny bit of red on here which denotes the positive terminal so we will go ahead and connect this to the positive terminal and there we have it positive leader the clippers can connect Let's get rid of those helping hands they're not helping very much um, and then the negative lead connects to this side of the power supply. That ultimately means you put this little controller in between um, the actual physical battery itself and the charge circuit and the motor. So with a bit of luck now when we turn this on. Huh? Oh, really? Really really? It operates for a second. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if this charge PCB may not be able to handle the inrush current of the motor. So, that said, we're just going to have to be really careful with this um, with this battery and uh, not overcharge it. So we're going to have to make sure that we don't leave it on charge. We're literally, we're just going to uh, put this battery straight, straight.
straight into the uh, straight into the unit. So there we go. Right. So in summary, then, because of the inrush current, the charge PCB here um, couldn't deliver or couldn't handle the inrush current to the motor. So we've had to connect the battery directly to this lot here. Yep, that works an absolute treat, doesn't it? Look at that. I'm going to say it's going to be in a region of about a couple of amps. And uh, let's go with, yeah, that looks zero day. So let's put that around there and turn it on. Oh, wow, yeah. So when it's running, it's only drawing 250 milliamps. But if you watch the meter, when I first turn it on, you see that, that initial inrush current kicks this meter out at about 1.8 amps, nearly two amps. Ready? I'll do it one more time. 1.4. About one and a half amps. So there we have it. That's quite interesting to see, isn't it? So we need to modify this casing so we can fit this battery in the existing Dis case. Disassemble this whole thing a little bit more. I should probably <laughs> disconnect one of the power cables, but uh, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> This is the switch, we'll get the switch out of the way. And as you can see by all the mess on the table here, I've done quite a bit of chopping in order to get that battery to fit in place there. But it is quite a snug fit. Okay, let's put the switch back in. Where are you? There you are. So when we switch it on, look at that, fantastic, good. And that's all, actually that, that's all in there quite solid. That's, that's not going anywhere. Right, let's have a bit of a clean up. This is the charger. <laughs> the charger says its output is 3.2 volts at 1,500 milliamps. This would appear to be a switch mode charger it does actually say on it normally switch modes are pretty good but i'd be sort of happy if this power supply actually got up to about four volts there you go dc volts dc volts says 3.9 and actually i'm happy with that that's quite good so what do we currently have on the battery let's just check that the battery tells us it is 4.08 volts so the good news here then is we shouldn't overcharge the battery but there is a risk if we continue to use this it might under charge all right so we plug the uh, power supply in and we can see a little LED little red LED light up anyhow so long as we can get the lid on I'm sort of happy that this should actually do what it says on the tin now hopefully with a bit of luck <laughs> we've got some more cutting to do this was clearly to hold in the other batteries so we need to just get rid of that we'll give our clippers here a much longer lease of life happy days indeed ladies and gentlemen thanks ever so much for watching hopefully that little modification will give our clippers a longer lease of life Please be careful if you are going to do this kind of stuff and you're not going to or cannot include some kind of charge management circuitry. Be warned, there could be explosions and that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, just saying, dubious. Thanks ever so much for watching. Make sure you give us a good old thumbs up. 
We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and beers. Bye for now.